Hello nieces, hello nephew, it's your Uncle Chad is here, and it's Saturday, but Uncle Chad is going to be doing analysis for Friday, okay, so keep that in mind, um, and here is the flow sentiment, I have it filtered for 500k premiums or above, with expiration date within one month, okay, I want to see the, what the big money is doing, and what the most aggressive play is, and as you can see, 94% in puts, it's extremely bearish sentiment, like extremely, and then you can see on Friday, at the end of the day, on Friday, yesterday, the big money was still rolling in as far as puts go, alright, 6.2 million, 6.3 million, 4.9 million, high volume, 395 strike price in all of them and once again that may 20th 2022 expiration date i've been seeing a lot of out the money puts for that day okay so keep that in mind all right so as always this is uncle's trade room where i call out my trades throughout the day in real time by the way and here i write my analysis on spy throughout the, the day to keep the group on the right side of the trade hopefully that's always the goal and here was the plan but pretty much, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Talked about it with you guys in yes and Thursday's video. If you go back to the four minute, 30 second mark, beautiful plan there. And it worked out very well. So here's the 15 minute chart. Okay, SPY open and bouncing off the 422.6 level. That's this blue line here. That's based on the triangle pattern that Uncle's going to talk about. Very critical level. All right. So we bounced there to start the day around 9.30 to 9.45. We bounced and cleared the 4.25 level, okay? Now, you see this pink line right here? I had a resistance level at 4.25. And I try to follow my strategy, basically, and buy the breakout. And that's what the blue arrow is telling you. Keep in mind, it's all called out in real time in Uncle's Trade, all right? Um, so we bought the breakout, and as you can see... It went as high as 425.87, but when it had the chance to back test it as a support to confirm more upside, it failed. So I got stopped out on the very next candle, all right? But I entered a put on that candle to play the false breakdown setup, okay? And then when on the next candle, SPY just back, back tested that 425 level as a resistance. I added to my position, and as SPY dropped, I just shaved a little bit of profit as it went down. And I was completely done by the trade around 420.6s around there. Okay, good level to level trade, false break, uh, false breakout trade setup. Okay, intraday. And here you can see that the spy lost that 421.7 support level that I had. That's the white line right there. And later it back tested that level as a resistance where I look for my third entry, my third trade of the day. Okay, actually my fourth entry, but whatever. So the reason why I entered that was because it back-tested a, a support that we lost over here as a resistant. I was seeing some good selling pressure, entered it, and it worked very well, okay? And it continued to work well throughout the day because when we lost 419.5 support to 420 zone, back-tested as a resistant, continued down, lost the 415, back-tested as a resistant, continued down, okay? So the back-test and go strategy worked very well for Uncle Charters. All right, definitely check out the link in the description where I, I talk about this strategy more in depth. Okay, a very good tactic to add to your trading arsenal. Now, here's a weekly chart of SPY uh, where I talked about the triangle pattern. You can see with the blue line here. And here, you see the big, big breakdown. Okay, extremely bearish price action. All right, so the breakdown level as of right now is 423. All right, as long as SPY is below 423, this breakdown continues to hold. If it can get back above 423, that's a, a recapture and we'll put the false breakdown scenario in play. Okay, so definitely watch out for that level 423, very critical level, probably a good level to, to look for puts. All right, but you still got to be willing to cut your losses. All right, as of right now, uh, SPY close at 412. I have a level at 415, that's re first resistant right now. And this level has served as both a support and a resistant level in the past. All right. You can see it a little bit here on the weekly, but you'll see a lot more on the daily. And I got FIB levels from the March 2020 low all the way to the December high. So 418.6 is my 23.6 retracement level. Very critical resistant level there. We'll see if SPY can clear that. Above that level, I have 420. This level has also served as both a support and resistant level in the past. All right, and it's been serving as that in the last in this past week as well. 
if you've been trading the intraday levels and above 420 is the big test at 423 above 423 we recaptured this triangle pattern and put us in a false breakdown scenario as of right now we are in a breakdown scenario very bearish so spy needs to show us some follow through next week either back test 423 as a resistant and just shoot right down and start breaking down again or just continue to push down you and we'll use our levels to guide us okay so remember uncle's levels 415 is a resistant as long as below that 418.6 above that and 420 and then 423 420 being the critical one okay so remember don't turn bullish unless we clear our resistant all right stay uh, bearish i'm talking short term here guys so don't be short term bullish until we clear some short term resistant levels okay the big level is 423 clearing that would recapture this triangle pattern okay as long as we do not clear resistant level and we just you know reject from those levels stay bearish okay and the next support level I got is around 408. And then below that, we can finally possibly get that big gap fill around 400 to 403 level. You can see the gap fill right, the gap right here. And below that, there's a previous high back in February of last year, around 394.5 ish. And it also has served as a support level that ignited a big upside, like some large upside. All right, guys. So that's for what I got for the spy. And the VIX is looking bullish still. All right. When it was this Thursday, it bounced off that 27.97 level, 38.2 retracement level I had. Recaptured 30.2 yesterday and closing just below 33.8. If we could clear that, very bullish. And that puts 37.5, then 39, and then all the way up here around 45.8 45 to 46. Okay? So as long as VIX has continued to clear resistant levels, that's bullish, and a bullish VIX is a bearish spy, all right? Turn bearish on VIX when we start breaking down support levels again. First one being 30.2, 27.97, then 26.16, all right? Here is a daily chart of Triple Q. Big bearish engulfing candle there, all right? It lost a very critical level around 316.8, all right? So my next support level down is around 311.3. And if we lose that, we put 307 and then 304.5 in play. And if you're wondering, Uncle, where's these levels coming from? They were all previous support and resistance levels in the past. Previous supply and demand zones. That's all there is. All right. And I got the first resistance at 317. Triple Q needs to clear that level for me to be bullish. Put in 322.5 and 325 back in play. And the big critical one up at 329.9. Dow Jones looking very bearish. Also got a bearish engulfing candle here. All right. About, it closed just above the 78.6 retracement level at 329.4. All right. If we lose that level, the downside, the elevated down continues down to 325.5 and 322.7. Needs to clear 332.8 to be bullish to put 334.5 in play and then possibly 338.2. Okay. IWM breaking down these support levels. All right. Yesterday, it back tested this yellow trend line as a resistance and just continued selling down. Okay, because we had a false breakout scenario over here back in April 22nd. It was chopping. All right, got a nice, this clean move yesterday. It needs to clear 185.5 to be to get some bullish momentum going, or maybe even a relief rally, because that's first resistant, and then 187.9. And then a critical one around 191.3. All right. As long as it doesn't clear any resistance and continue to reject 182, then 178.5, then possibly 175.7 are the next price targets. Okay. Tesla looking very bearish. We lost a critical level 925 back in April 26. Back tested it yesterday as a resistant and just pushed on right down. The next critical support level is 872. I think Tesla lost that as well. Okay which puts more downside down to 796 to 797 in play then below that's around 767 okay 200 day moving average is at 904 so not, uh, tesla needs to clear that to get any relief rally going to put uh, 925 then 935 in play all right guys apple also looking bearish you see it we lost that 165 level the 50 percent retracement level back on april 22nd we rejected from that level yesterday. As a matter of fact, we rejected from the 50-day moving average as well, as well around 165.84. A little quick wash above it, but didn't work much, okay? 
and it just pushed on right down so you guys can see this back testing gold strategy worked very well not just for spy but for any stock or indice that you may be interested in trading okay definitely check out the link in the description below where i talk more about this trading concept and i believe it will help you guys become more profitable all right guys speaking of profitable if you guys really like this analysis that i do i think you guys will truly love the discord so consider joining it if not it's all good i i'm just happy that you guys are here checking out my video all right and remember family's important and uncle loves you